Alright, so tech conference season is officially here and in this video I want to highlight one particular one I'd recommend attending, HashiConf 2025. Now this is HashiCorp's global cloud conference and will be held from September 24th to 26th in San Francisco. If you're in the tech and cloud space, this conference is definitely one you'd want to check out. Now working with industry experts, dozens of speaker sessions and exciting product updates, these are just a few of the experiences you can expect from HashiConf. And so in this video I'll be sharing what's included in the three days of HashiConf 2025, why it's worth attending, and who it's best suited for. Let's get into it. So I've been using HashiCorp's tools like Terraform and Vault for a while now, and HashiConf consistently stands out to me as one of the most valuable conferences for cloud learners and tech professionals. The conference brings together developers, IT leaders, industry experts, and the rest of the HashiCorp community to talk about the future of cloud automation. Let's take a look at what's included. First, the speaker sessions. Over the three days, there's over 26 technical talks and 13 strategy sessions. What I find interesting is that these talks aren't just HashiCorp employees promoting their own products. There are customer stories where companies share their actual experiences. For example, this session where Air France KOM will be discussing how they build a secure automation platform with the help of HashiCorp tools. There's also educational talks. For example, Microsoft showing us how to build and scale AI apps with Azure OpenAI and Terraform. Now, what you'll notice is that each of these sessions are labeled with a level, anywhere from level 100 to level 400. This way, you can select sessions that match your technical knowledge. So even if you're a beginner, you'll find content that's helpful for you. There's also various tracks as well, split across cloud engineer and business with recommended sessions for you to attend depending on your own interests and goals. I personally would be interested in both. By the way, here's a preview of the speaker lineup. You can see that there's a lot of tech professionals across different companies and different roles from site reliability engineer to co-founder, head of infrastructure, lots of people with a lot of years of experience. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of great conversations. There's also a few special events like this Women in Tech lunch happening on September 25th. Next, HashiConf helps you get certified. By attending the conference, you can become a HashiCorp certified cloud engineer for free. Now, this is your opportunity to take the exam on site without the exam fee. You can choose between associate level exams for Terraform, Vault, or Console, or you can go with a professional level one if you want to dive a bit deeper. Either way, it's a pretty cool perk. And if you decide to attend, this will hopefully give you some motivation to build your skills in cloud automation ahead of time. And thirdly, what's also included is the ability to network. There's more than eight booths where you can have one-on-one -on -one conversations and group demos with product specialists. There's also going to be over a thousand attendees and everyone is there to learn and share ideas. For a lot of people, including myself, the real value of conferences isn't just the talks, it's the connections that you make. You might meet someone who can help you solve a technical problem, collaborate on a future project, or maybe even open a door for your next career move. Now, aside from everything I just shared, here's why I believe HashiConf is going to be worth attending this year. If you're already working in the cloud space, this event will help you advance your career. You'll learn what's coming next for tools like Terraform and Vault, and how other companies are already applying them in production. And if you're a cloud learner, the hands-on experience and networking opportunities are going to make it worth you can attend a Learn Lab led by HashiCorp's education engineers where you'll get step-by-step -step instructions on using their products, learn best practices, and even get your questions answered in real time. Now, let's talk about how much it's going to cost to attend HashiConf. General admission tickets are $899, and that gives you access to all of the sessions, social events, and the free certification opportunity I mentioned earlier. Meals, snacks, and merch are also included. What it doesn't include is travel and accommodation, so you'll need to make your own way there. Which brings us to the question, is it actually worth it? In my opinion, if you're a complete beginner just starting out with cloud and infrastructure automation, you'll benefit more from taking online courses and getting hands-on practice. But if you've already dabbled with HashiCorp's tools or maybe even using them at your company, then I definitely recommend attending. So here are some thoughts from previous attendees of HashiConf 2024. You'll find a lot of testimonials where attendees have really enjoyed the event. Ooh, and here are some familiar faces as well from the AWS community. All right, for those of you who are planning to attend a tech conference this year, here are some tips that I have. First, prepare strategically. Don't just show up and hope for the best. You can review the session agendas beforehand and note down some that you'd be interested in attending. Secondly, leave space for networking. Instead of planning a fully packed day, make sure you give yourself time to walk around, meet new people, and join those informal discussions. And lastly, don't forget to follow up. The learning doesn't stop when the conference ends. Connect with people on LinkedIn, share your experience with others, and most importantly, set aside time after the conference to implement what you've learned. All right, this brings us to the end of this video. If you're interested in attending HashiConf 2025, I've left a link to it in the description below. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in person at an upcoming conference. Bye for now!